All right, in this video, I'll be talking about Final Fantasy XIV and how great of an MMO it is. All right, before we get started, like this video if you liked it, dislike if you don't, hit the subscribe button, and then turn the bell notification on so you get notified when we upload new videos. There'll be links in the video description for affiliate links, and I'll try to put some links on for Final Fantasy XIV, and just to our Amazon where there are affiliate links, and this channel will get a kickback if you buy anything through that link, so thank you very much. All right, so in this video, we're just going to be chatting a little bit about Final Fantasy XIV, it's not really a review, I'm just giving my impressions kind of, and uh, I also want to get feedback from you guys about what type of content you want to see from Final Fantasy XIV. So, I've been playing this on and off for the last three years or so, and I'm only the 52, as you guys can see. I have made too much progress through the DLC. Um, I've been more exploring and trying to learn the world and trying to just play the game it's an mmo so it winds up being you know a large universe and you can see that it's very customizable you'll see lots of different people make different layouts for their all of their controls so i have all of my uh task bar down here and my life and my experience and then up here is your quests your chat box which i don't use a lot not too much and then, so I might move that if I want to make more visible my chat box, but I haven't been needing that. I've been giving it quite small. Over here, you got your your ping times and stuff like that to make sure you're connected to the server right, your local time, and you can change it to maybe the game time and server time and all of that so you know what time things are. Then you got all of your menu items down here, which go through a lot. You can see I have the character menu up, up right here. I love this recommended gears. Re recommended gear. That's a great uh, little feature that they put in this game. So you don't have to go and scavenge through all your gear. Because it'll tell you what's the best combinations and stuff. And so in this game it's slightly different. Your class is based off of the weapon you have. And so you can actually have multiple. So I'll show you this right here. Where you have all of these, and I've got a few at 50. Um, Summoner and Scholar are linked, I believe. That's why they're both 52. And then Red Mage, uh, Samurai, Warrior, and then I don't know how to say that. Thermal. Let me know down in the comments how you say that. I, I don't know how to say that. I was looking at a video for that. I'm not sure how to say that. But I believe there's a Armory chest. Which is how you actually change your class. So I can go in and click this guy and equip that. And now he's naked. And then I can go recommend gear. And I'm all geared up now for Warrior. I haven't used it uh, since I reinstalled this. So I need to rearrange all of the um, hotkeys and stuff like that. But you'll notice that some of them keep. And you can do that based off of the class. Which I believe is done here. just screwed stuff up there you go then okay so i'll go into a hud layout fix my hot bar right there so yeah like i said it's all customizable so it's really nice you can move stuff around while i'm at it i'll move some stuff around i'll put this back up here and then put those up here probably a little bit more down so they're not completely in the way Save that guy, exit out, and there you go. I can probably move him over here even. Oh, my progress bar is right there. I'll leave it for now. I'll play around with it. I, I, I usually change this quite a bit. And you can change where your class or your quests are right here. So this is your main scenario request up here, but this is all your quests. So if you have multiple, you can follow them. And there's like follow fellowships. Which you can create one. I might do that at some point. And then you also have free company. Which is kind of like your guild kind of. But. So like I said. Um, I'm looking for feedback on what you guys want to see as content. And I don't want to spoil too much of the game. Or anything like that. So I definitely think I'm going to be streaming more. I, I think I'm going to get back to this to streaming on the new year, my new year's resolution. And so I'm hoping to stream this 
and maybe some other games and make videos on it and just enjoy playing the game and i play on pc i played a little bit of ps4 let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see you know ps4 gameplay and then it's just how you use the controller on the pc is the same way i don't like too much of the interface of actually logging in because i use the extra password um one-time password thing that they have and that kind of gets annoying but i deal with it on pc because it's better security and but on ps4 it gets a little annoying and you can't just copy and paste passwords like you can on the pc so it'd be interesting to try to keep both of those and playing those um you also have to buy separate versions for pc or mac i haven't played this on mac let me know down in the comments again if you want me to show it on mac at some point uh, i don't want a mac currently but i'll try to get one if that's desired and i would love to know you guys thoughts on you know content you want to see around maybe challenges or different things like that to make long form content um but Look it out for you guys with this. Otherwise, I'm just going to start trying to figure out ways of making content through this. Either way, it works for me. And thank you guys for watching this video. And thank you guys for so much for the support. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike if you don't. Hit the subscribe button and then turn bell notification on so you get notified when we upload new videos. And again, I'm so appreciative of you guys watching. And thank you guys for watching every video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.